welcome back to my channel. It is finally happening guys. It is happening. I am working with Drops Wish. I have heard so many things about this yarn that I really wanted to try it out and Drops released a pattern, a free one, and I just fell in love with it so I knew this was the one. You know, just when you when you already know. Anyway, so as I said, I'll be working with Drops Wish. I love this yarn. It's so, so soft. It is a blend of 50% uh, alpaca, 33% of cotton and 70% wool. And that's why it's just so soft. And this will be the main colour. It is a blue. Then we have this gorgeous off-white. And then we have white or white-ish. <laughs> and these colours just work so well together. Um, like I said, I will be going with a pattern by Drops itself. I'll be making the size S and about this yarn, it is uh, in the yarn group E, so the needles will be quite chunky. Uh, the recommended needle and hook size that it states on the label is a 9mm, which is fine by me because that means it works up super fast. and. Yeah, about the pattern itself, it will be worked top down, it's got a high neck, just what I love, you know. I love sweaters, it is winter, it is cold, so if you're sick of sweaters, I'm really sorry. Um, where I live, I just really need them and I love making them, so you just have to stick with it. <laughs> and yes, I think before we jump into the video, make sure to like and subscribe this one have a look through my channel through my other videos and don't forget to head over to instagram and follow me there as well because i post pictures of me wearing my things and i also post other content so don't forget about that as well so let's jump into the video
So I am now done with the colour work. I think it looks fantastic. I'm super happy with it. Honestly, this yarn is just perfect in every possible way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's so soft to work with and because it's thick as well, it works really nicely and, and very quickly as well. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, I've just got a few rows of normal um, blue for the last increases and then I can separate for the sleeves and the body and start working on that. Um, I have made this little stitch marker. I might show you a bit later but I think it's super cute. <laughs> I think it turned out great. I've made a few of these with a few other um, pearls as well because I didn't have any for my big needles. So now I made myself some and I'm really happy how they turned out. Uh, if you want to see me make these, I can do that in a future video, just let me know if you're interested in them. And that is, I think, everything apart from, I made a mistake <laughs> at the beginning. I knit very, very tight when it comes to colour work. So like, let's take this off, it's like this part. I knit so tight that the tension is just all wrong and the gauge is not even as well anymore. So what I did, I was about here, I think, and then it looked like a child's shirt, <laughs> not like a stretchy jumper. So what I did, I just frogged it and I went all the way up to the ribbing and did it, it again. So kind of made two jumpers if you if you want to say it like that. Um, but I'm so happy that I did it because I knew if I wouldn't do it then it will not fit me and I would be more upset to have something in my wardrobe with such a nice um, yarn and it just doesn't like I just don't like it and I don't want to wear it. So I thought better now than if I'm like at the body and then I decide I don't want to have this project anymore. Uh, I don't want to do it because it's too tight. So I'm glad I did it. Now it works a lot better. I think I sized up. Yeah, sized up one needle size um, because I think it will be the same with the colour work when you work with the recommended needle and have a good tension um, and so I sized one up and because I still knit tightly <laughs> and it will even it out essentially or at least that's my thought process, I don't know but yeah, that's what it looks like and this is what I have left of white and the other off-white. Um, it's not a lot, although it does look like not a lot in a ball, but when you have it in the donut shape, it looks a lot more. Um, I'm thinking of maybe putting a little bit of detail around the sleeves. If I have enough, I think I will do. Just maybe like replicate this zigzag up here. Um, around the sleeves because it's just a plain knit from here on um, just to kind of use this up and to give you a little extra I don't know I've not decided yet we'll see when it comes to that if I get there because this took me quite a while because I have a lot of uni work to do but let's get back to knitting <laughs>
So I've now finished both of the sleeves. Here they are. I still need to uh, stitch up the holes by the arms. Uh, here is <laughs> quite the big one. Um, I've tried this technique where apparently you're not supposed to get a hole with making some extra stitches. On I tried to do it uh, with this sleeve on both sides but here it didn't really work. Um, it's not so bad here, like there is just a very small one. So I think if I just pull the yarn um, from different directions then it will be fine and it will close up by itself. Um, for this one I found a really good technique that I will link down below um, that I used for my other sleeve to stitch it up and honestly it worked wonders. Um, like you can't really see that there was a hole once. So yeah, this is what it looks like and now I'm gonna continue with the body and then we should be done soon.